place where it all began. It was the first place I ever rock climbed, the first place I ever got to experience clipping a draw on natural rock, feeling very scared and out of my comfort zone, but loving it at the same time. It was a place where I watched and witnessed some of the strongest climbers in the country. Experiencing the rock and road in 2006, and it was my turning point in my climbing career. The Petzl Rock and Road was all about new development and exposing them to stronger climbers so that they could help improve and establish the areas. And with that mentality, it just was easy to see where and what the sport needed to do. After moving away from home for a while, I realized that I needed to come home and experience where my roots came from. It was 2019 September when a couple of the climbers in the uh, Durban community decided that they would explore a cave that had some sort of reputation. There was a local story about goats living in it. So one of the local legends, uh, Dave Drummond, he decided that he would use one of his survey drones to go and check out the venue. And standing on the other side of the cliff band in the car park, I was not there, but I can imagine an eruption of psych and excitement that would come from them as they saw what the cave actually held. Sitting perched on an 80 meter cliff band was the Goat Cave, a unestablished cave that bared a small ledge and a lot of good quality climbing. The climb that I'm on at the moment is Gunbuster 5000. Growing up, I never knew too much about the development of the sport. There was a massive generation gap that information and knowledge wasn't passed on and it kind of left us in the dark. And obviously being a low end climber, you're not going to be looking at bolting and developing. With the development scene growing in KZN, it was an incredible experience to have one of the local legends and developers, Gerald Kemp, give me a catch on this route. Uh, for my first ascent and witnessing this was personally a great experience. Um, Aaron Sturkenberg being my belay had to sit for three hours while I slowly progressed my way up the wall and installed the anchors and the best part about it was I got to witness her try it for the first time and it's these moments that I love where climbing brings different generations together and we can experience legends like Gerald Camp and Roger Natchez climb routes that we are installing and then seeing the next generation, the kids in school getting second ascents. And that is probably why I reckon rock climbing is the greatest sport in the world. Seriously, James, you fucking dirtied my bag, dude. I'm sorry. That's one of my favorite possessions. <laughs> <laughs> fucking did it! Yeah, boy!